Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna do a super simple library pocket slash envelope tutorial. Um, we've done library pockets. I have at least two or three videos with them, but I kind of wanted a shortcut way to do it because the cutting and I'm just like, oh, sometimes I don't want to make a library pocket because of that. So I want to show a quick, easy tip. So this is a great video for beginner crafters or advanced because I'm just going to show you a really simple trick that I feel like makes these, um, done a little bit quicker but you can obviously turn your little um, library pocket into a envelope too and my sizing is going to fit tea packets perfect because many of you do do the tea swaps and it's just a pretty standard size and you can see i just made different variations nothing crazy just really simple ones and yes i'm using double-sided uh, paper for some of these but i did do one with single-sided paper so i'm gonna do both today basically we're just gonna it's like Monday and I just want to do an easy craft and just, you know, sit here with you guys. <laughs> so, okay, I'm for uh, reference, my sheets today, okay, and this is all going to be the same, um, is going to be a four by eight paper. So I've got single sided and I've got double sided, which I do love the double sided. So um, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I won't torture with all of them but I'll do a couple of them um, I have been wanting to use this yellow because the yellow is just really gorgeous um, so we can start with that so let's start with a double and basically library pockets are pretty simple um, for the side so like on the four inch side I'm just gonna score it at half an inch on each side so I've got the four inch mark right here. And basically I just do half and to make it easier, just do half. All right, so you're gonna have your two little scores on each side. And then I'm going to go ahead and score here at three inches. So my eight inch side, I'm gonna score at three inches or whatever, however you want your pocket to be. So let me make this really deep because I want you guys to see the line. Um, I realize this paper is very uh, printed, so let me just make it a little darker really quick. Okay. So, and I think, I feel like I always do this measurement because I feel like it's a standard one. So, typically, when we do these pockets, what we'll usually do is cut here at where the three inch mark meets, and you kind of cut it, and then we usually like cut this off and then fold it. But to make this quicker and also just more interesting, I'm going to actually leave those on. Um, and I feel like this is going to make the pocket go so much quicker. So I'm going to just fold these. And some of you may already do this kind of a style. I don't know. <clears throat> and then you're going to have those two things. Like I said, you would normally cut off. But what you can do is you can either glue this down so you have this little frame here, okay? And then it will kind of look like this one here, how it has like the two. Or for me, and I feel like it gives a little bit of durability, is I'm gonna fold mine back. Because it really does have this durable backing when you have a little extra in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this up, glue that down. And I'm just gonna glue these down. And I feel like this way is so much quicker than having to cut it and your pocket being uneven because there's a lot of times I'll cut this and then my pocket will be all jagged up. And this way it's just more durable and you don't have to fussy cut anything. And if you're making more than one pocket, especially for an album, uh, you really, sorry, I didn't put enough glue on there. Um, and this paper is really thick, the Cardabella. Um, and then you don't have to like, you know, just fussy and then you have this pocket. So that's really all I did. And this was just an easier way to um, make a pocket. And like I said, it's a little bit more durable and that's it. <laughs> So now I'm basically just decorating pockets with you guys and I'm just gonna, and this is my favorite. And I've said before, 
Library pockets are one of my favorite, favorite things to make because I find it so relaxing and I feel like there's so many different variations that you can do for it. For it. So I'm going to show you. So, okay, so you see how we made this little pocket. Um, if you want to make the envelope, all I do here is take it and basically just score it and I give it a little extra wiggle room um it's really just preference but like at the one and a half inch mark I kind of give it a little bit of space as you can see right here but I mean it's really just preference of whatever you're putting in there where is my thumb notch I should have done that so you can do a little thumb notch here and then when you fold it, you're gonna have this pretty little strip right here. Also, that makes it a little bit more interesting um, as an envelope. So you can obviously do this with a regular size envelope because you know you have lots of cutting to do. So now you don't have to cut it. You'll just have like this little sh decorative strip and it looks like you, you know, purposely decorated it. But really, you were just doing something easier. And I love, love, love the bungee with this. I'm going to pop this on. So you guys are really loving that flip book and the vellum. I'm so happy. Um, I had to rest my brain. So I have a few albums that I'm going to be doing. And yes, the embellishment album was on there. I have a couple of requests that I've been working on. Um, but one of them I'm just kind of stuck at. So... I didn't want to touch. Sometimes I start a project and then I go back to it. But I'm working on a recipe album, a traveler uh, notebook album, and just some random ones. Like, oh, I'm going to show you this. So this is going to be like an easy, lazy Sunday type tutorial. But I thought these pockets actually go perfect on it. So I wanted to upload this before I uploaded this one but you could also like put it on the back um, of this and if you don't put this little flap there I think it'll be more even but I really like this here this was inspired on Pinterest this little thing this closure but I thought that was really sweet and I'm just gonna add a little butterfly here grabbing some stickers and that so that can be your envelope instead of your library pocket now let me do one for the single-sided paper so again it's the same measurements it's just all of this four by eight um, four inch side half an inch I don't want to confuse anyone so I'll do that and then I'm gonna score the eight inch side at three inches but do you guys think this is more quick or do any of you guys do this normally so that you don't have to cut it? Because otherwise you would be doing this long strip and it's like eh, you have to cut it and then cut it and then just worry about your backing being even. So this is the side that's going to go up and I think I did it upside down. I did. Um, but instead of because it's single-sided and it looks a little plain. I'm going to fold it in instead of back. I needed a very easy tutorial today, you guys, because I went to bed so late. I was talking to my friend last night. She's, and I think anyone who may relate is she's like, you know, 50 and divorced and trying the online dating. And these guys are out of control. I don't know if there's any of you out there in that situation, but it's a scary time to be dating. I will say that. <laughs> so I was listening to her stories um about it and I was just like uh, I think we do I need to do a next <laughs> on that one so okay I you could see I just glued those down and then I'm just popping it up 
and then you have like this cute little thing and that's obviously a little plain so that's why we want to just like kind of dress it up and you can see here also in some of these I added the glitter because it just made it so much extra especially here and here because this looks so plain right now but we're gonna make this alive just like this one and I did want to add the glitter here so let's do that too <clears throat> So I'm going to add the red line tape because again, it's my thinnest one right now and it's catching on every single thing in my drawer. <laughs> feathers, I don't know. I don't even have any feathers in there, but it's grabbing onto something very feather-ish. And then I also put the little Velcro too that I got. Oh my, I got a glitter bomb going on in there. See, you guys see that I used the bone folder and it still does not work for me. It's like, get on there. See, you guys witnessed it. I did use it. Let me try this side. All right, this side's going to come up for me. And I've got this really bad pile of junk slash glitter on here. Okay, you've got to add the glitter because it just is so pretty when you add it. I mean, it's just so much more extra, isn't it? All right, and then we're gonna do it again right here before we start decorating this. Sorry, I know the red line tape is a struggle. So my little guy finally went back to school today. He had been home with me like all last week. We had appointments and then he got sick. And I'm curious if any, this is stuff in anyone else, but he's had this like red eye and we thought it was pink eye and he actually took a steroid for it and it happened twice and it came back and we're like, okay, it's allergies. But then when I was on social media, I saw that this is an actual thing people have for like three weeks when it keeps coming back. And my old neighbor in Atlanta, she's having the same problem. So I don't know if it's allergies or if it's something that's just going around. <clears throat> it's crazy. Okay, so out of that, because we got to make this pretty now. So let me see if I can grab a pile here. And let's see, because I didn't even think ahead to do this. Uh-oh, it's another cutie. We may have to use something cute again. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty too, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to use something like that. And I'm going to use the double-sided tape, uh, foam tape, because I want it to be puff, uh, puff out a little bit. Did I, I feel like I used something like this in my other album. Did I? I might have. I might have used something in the other album that we did. But whatever, it's calling my name again, so we're going to use it again. And it's just too cute on here. I'm going to add some puffy hearts. Sorry, there's a lot of glitter going on over here. <clears throat> and then for inside... I need a tag, so I'm just going to borrow one here. So you see how it's kind of like, obviously if you fill this up, you're not going to see that, but what you can do is just a little trick like this. So if you're using that plain sided paper, you can just kind of take a little clip and <clears throat> add it on there. So you're kind of just like hiding it, but the fact that it has that. But again, if you're putting something in there that's high, then you're not going to really need that. So that's what I basically did was just kind of stuff it. And I don't have anything to put in here. Maybe a glitter? I have some cardstock here. I can add some glitter in there or maybe even behind it. I 
or stickers or whatever it is that you're putting in there. So there's that one. So, and then of course, if you fold this one, it's just gonna be kind of a plain envelope. But I do like the fact that this kind of has a little stripe and just makes it, I don't know, fun. Um, you could even put that inside if you want it to be plain and the lid just kind of be like, you know, solid instead of have the strip. It's just a preference. But anyway, this was just a simple tutorial that I wanted to do with you guys, um, especially because it's Monday. I was going to do another one, but I feel like my desk is just too messy right now. I'm going to end up regretting it, but I'm just going to add some of this pretty glitter on here before we go. Just to make, because I didn't add too much on here, so I want to add a little bit more. And I forgot to take this out right here. I'll take that out too. So yeah, I really like the way that looks with the glitter. I don't know if you guys can see. It's that weird morning glare. All right, guys, just a simple DIY library pocket tutorial. And don't forget, if you want to use the closure, um, just add some Velcro here so that you can um, seal it. Or you can just use twine or whatever. It's up to you. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.